What's up, y'all? Down here in Texas again. Y'all, y'all know I got, y'all, y'all know I got to do it if I get loads that come down here. I want to tell you guys something. I want to tell you guys something. Truck parking, man, it is, it is, is, it's, it's, it's a thing. It's, it is a thing. Truck parking is a thing. You know. When it gets to a certain time of the evening, truck stops be filling up. And once they fill up, it's hard to park there. See, the way I do it, the way I do it, and the way I've been doing it, I never run my clock entirely out, which means that I wanna leave a little something on my clock so that when I find a place to stay, I mean, place to post up for the night, I don't have to worry about getting there and I don't have no time to do what I need to do to park. See, I, I usually start maybe about an hour, hour and a half out, maybe two, depending on what time I got to have the load and, um, what time I gotta have to load the next morning or that evening? I'll just go ahead and figure it, figure it out. You know, I kind of scratch my head and I say, hey, maybe the closest truck stops that's within the route that's taking me to my delivery, I'll see which ones have available truck parking. So when I get there, I don't have to worry about the my clock running out because I still got time to do what I need to do to find truck parking. Now you see, places like this, it's not like they're taking advantage of us, but it's, it's their property and it's what they want to do. Now, you can pay the $9 and park here overnight which there is plenty, plenty of parking. Plenty of parking. They got parking on the other side over there. They got parking over here. Plus they got parking in the back. Plus they got maybe an empty spot right there. But some companies don't pay for truck parking. They feel that it's up to the driver whether or not they wanna pay that money out of their pocket. They should get reimbursed for it, though. You know, it zoomed all the way out. They should get paid for it. They should, I'm sorry, they should get reimbursed for it. They, you know, if, if they're driving a company truck and they happen to park in the area that they had to pay for parking, the company really should reimburse them for it. I don't know, that's, that's just my, uh, that's just my thought, my opinion. Now, next door. Y'all see all of that? There's a lot of truck parking spaces back there in the back. Now this is a different uh, parking area. This is the barbecue pit right here. And on their sign, their sign, if you can see it, if you can see it, there it is. Y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? That sign right there says, free overnight truck parking. Free overnight truck parking. God is love. Now, <coughs> now of course when I seen that sign, you, you guys know where I came to. I came over here. It, it, it was kind of, it was kind of tight. But what I had to do, I had to turn around and back up and get into the spot where I was at because there wasn't, there wasn't no way to turn around back there in the back. 
but it is what it is with truck parking you know walmart you know partnered with some devious companies to you know stop truck drivers from parking in their parking lots on the night Pruitt was booted, there were 14 other trucks that got hit with a bill and a boot. Hey, this is a money right, yeah. Park a lot of the Walmart trucks on it. So there's a $5 million fine, you have to pay them to move it. That's the price of the issue. You have one hour to two trucks. This man works for R&R Parking Management. The truckers there claim he never knocked on the truck door, just threw a boot on the windshield and a ticket to boot. You know you're not allowed to touch that. I took my right. That's uh, illegal, dude. Or not stop, them, not stop them from coming in there to shop and spend their hard-earned money, but stopping them from overnighting, you know. I would suggest that if you get into a situation that requires you to not find adequate parking, try big box stores other than Walmart. Try... Home Depots, try Love's, try, try Abandon, well, I don't want to say Abandon, as Abandon is probably a strong word, but try places that got big box stores that got huge parking lots that, that they don't have no problem with you parking there. Pruitt has no idea why Walmart doesn't want truckers parking in the lot. No one we found seems to know. Of course, truck parking is a major problem. It always has been. You know, you get into you, you get into truck stops that that has some spots, but then once it fills up, then you got drivers that's just parking all over the place. It's crazy. They, they parking all over. I guess that probably might be some of the reasons that I don't go up to the Northeast. You know, when you go up to the Northeast, truck parking becomes far and few between. When federal guidelines change to 11 hours of driving time in a 14 hour work day. They put everyone on e-logs and with that being said, it's, it seems as though the industry has changed to the fact that everybody is on the same shift. And you got a lot of private properties up there that really don't like trucks on their property and parking overnight. If you do decide to park at a Walmart, I would suggest that you call that Walmart first. Get a hold of the manager. Let the manager know that, hey, you know, can I park, I mean, can I, can I overnight? They'll probably ask you for how long and you'd be like, well, can I overnight for, you know, a couple of hours or whatever? And then I'll leave first thing in the morning before you get busy or whatever. And they might say yay or nay. But then if you get to a Walmart and you see that there's, you know, other trucks there, but, but, there are signs in the Walmart that's specifically saying no truck parking. We were able to get in touch with Walmart's corporate office. Walmart partnered with r, &R management more than a year ago. r, r have signs posted at all entrances and in the parking lot. Walmart came to the decision to partner with r, &R after excessive overnight parking, littering, and damage. Walmart officials say they make no money off r, &R fines but the other truck drivers ignore it, then you decide to park there, and then all of a sudden you wake up in the morning or late at night to a nasty boot on your truck, then it becomes whose fault is it? Maybe you was tired. I, I know I be tired sometimes and I, I damn sure don't be paying paying no attention to no uh, to no signs. But if you come to a Walmart and there's a big ass sign at the front of the entrance that says no, <coughs> that says no overnight parking, and you park there anyway, then be prepared for the consequences that's gonna come to you later on that night. Cause trust me, they'll probably come up to the door and they'll probably knock. 
you know, to give you that warning. But they're gonna they're gonna lightly not. They're gonna tap, 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 tap. Between Georgetown and Williamsburg, where there's not made truck stop options. Combine that with time drives and stops, and a truck driver could get into a jam. And then once they slap that boot on, and used to be like, yo, why you didn't wake me up? Why you didn't let me know? Oh, well, yeah, we knocked. We knocked on the door. You, I, I guess you didn't, you, you didn't hear it. Of course I didn't hear that light ass knock that you did. Come on now. $500 in your pocket for, for two seconds of work? Come on now. Who, who, who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want that? It does seem like $500 times 14 trucks on just one night might cover that cost. In Williamsburg, Miranda Combs, WKYT. Truck parking, yeah, it, it, it is a huge problem. Me personally, like I said, I, I like parking at Love's for a lot of reasons. Love's because, wonder why I like parking at Love's. What's up YouTube? Good morning. It is early. I'm jumping on here right quick to show y'all something. Look at that. Now, I don't know if you guys hip to that. Maybe you are. Maybe you aren't. But I am digging loves for a number of reasons. A number of reasons why I am digging loves, man. One of which is the very, it's slow, but it, it's doable. The free Wi-Fi. I'm digging that. Number two is the shower check-in. I like that new feature. They just, I think they just started that this year. And I am, <laughs> I am, most certainly digging that is because of of the free internet that I get. You know, I get the uh, I'm a I'm a member. I'm a card member. So make sure you get the uh, Loves card when you come out here. So I'm a Loves member. So I get the free premium internet. I get that. You can sign in for a shower off the off the app. You can go on the app and check in for a shower. You don't even have to go in there and wait because some of these showers be like, whoo, 45 minutes to an hour wait, man. I mean, you know, you got guys in there that just like to hang out literally. But if you got the app and you check in from your truck, you can just wait at your truck and then your phone will ring and let you know that, yo, you're next in line. It's time to go and get that shower. So that's, that's a couple of reasons why I like parking at Love. You know, it's going to be hard finding truck parking these days but my question to you drivers is what's your favorite truck stop or do you have a favorite truck stop or do you or are you the type of driver that's hey i'll get there when i get there and find parking when i find it are you that driver so tell me in the comments below what what, 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 what do you guys like? Do you guys like the mom and pop truck stops that has the, that has the gravel lot and plenty of parking? I mean, I, I, think I'm a, I think I'm a mom and pop type of guy, you know? I, I'm, I'm, the type of, I'm, I'm the type of driver that's, that, uh, that if I see adequate parking, I'm gonna snatch it up. Or are you that driver that, that'll call in and reserve a parking? Or, or do your company pay for the parking that you reserve? Like my company, I mean, if I have to park somewhere and I gotta pay for it, my company will reimburse me. Do yours? Or are you the type of driver that, that likes the majors? You know, the, the, the pilots, the petrols, the loves. Are you those drivers that like them as far as parking goes? Now, as far as truck stop goes, I'm a loves kind of guy. I'm, I, there's, there's no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
when it comes to the rewards, love's got it hands down. Now, when it comes to the showers though, I got, when it comes to the showers, I really got to give it to Petro. Petro got some nice, clean, good smelling showers. I mean, again, because of the safety, because of the lights. But if I can't park at Love's, and there's no other alternatives, then I find alternatives such as this gravel lot right here that I'm in and the mom and pop stores. Now, mind you, not a lot of mom and pop stores charge for parking. Some of them you can park there, but the security is like <laughs> way low. And what I mean by way low, they don't have no lights like this place right here. When it gets dark, oh, it's gonna get dark. Ain't no lights over here. So that's the sacrifice that I'm giving up for parking in a place like this. So, but truck parking, man, I mean, you guys, and let you guys know right now before I get off, let you guys know right now that Walmart is now putting up these little uh, clearance beams now. I, I went past a couple of Walmarts down here so far that got it. Those, uh, those uh, six foot clearance beams now, I've seen two Walmarts so far that got it. And when a truck come up in there, that no, no truck can come up in their parking lot at all. Now, if you're going around to the back, you can go around to the back, but that's about it. But as far as coming up in the parking lot itself, they got those clearance beams. And a lot of Walmarts, it's going that way. Now, is that a good idea? Maybe, I don't know, but, but you can't blame Walmart. You gotta put some of the blame on us drivers though. So drivers, this is a message for you right quick. Stop fucking up for everybody else. If you got shit, if you got piss bottles, if you got all that stuff, throw it away. It doesn't hurt to walk five feet to a freaking garbage can and throw that stuff away. Instead of pouring it out on the ground, throwing it out on the ground, leaving it a mess for the Walmart employees out there to come out there to clean up your shit. Stop that, stop that. All right, if if I fueled up at Petro and T, I mean Petro and TA, as much as I do at Love's, trust me, I'll be knocking out those showers like gangbusters. I'm a Love's kind of guy because of their points. They really have a good point program. Another reason why I like Love's and I'm a Love's kind of guy is because of the app. You can request a shower over the app. Sign in on the app, boom. You can just chill in your truck until it's time for you to take a shower. So I'm a loves kind of guy. What kind of what, what kind of guys you are? What, what kind of what, what kind of truck stops you are? Are are you a Petro? Are you a are you a mom and pop? Are you a fuel and go pilot? Flying J? Flying J is on, to, I'd say Flying J is second for me. Every, just about every Flying J has either a Denny's. I think the one Flying J over in Virginia has a Golden Corral. And that's the only one that I've seen. But leave it in the comments below what kind of what kind of truck stop parking you guys are. Are you, are you, like I said before, are you a mom and pops that got the, the nice gravel lot? Are you a Flying J or, or Petro or Pilot or, or whatever? If, if you one of those, let me know in the comments below, all right? So, truck parking, like I said before, it is a problem. It is a problem for us. All right, that's my rant for today. You guys take it easy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell on the way out the door. You like videos like this, man, hook a brother up with some coffee. And also, don't forget to go and subscribe to the new reaction channel. Lockout main, 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 hold up. Lockout main, react.
go subscribe to the new channel. Link is in the description, all right? You guys take it easy. I'll come back at you with another video. Peace.